Suds to the channel for another new episode of the Solar System Legacy Challenge. This is, I think, episode 63, something like that. Something along those lines. 60-something. That's just what we're going to go with. But today is officially Winterfest. And so we are going to have a great time today. So it looks like little Victor here loves to open presents, have a grand meal, and of course to see Father Winter. And so does Vance. Maria pretty much loves everything except Father Winter. She thinks he's a little creepy, actually. And Daryl, he doesn't really care much for anything. Like, he ignores the festive spirit, honestly. But he just wants to be with family and have a good time. So, Maria here, it looks like she is going to serve some fruit, yogurt, and parfait. But they are going to just enjoy time with their family. Salim, Salem, wow, like, my voice broke there. It's, like, kind of going hoarse because I've been talking, I guess, so long. But... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, he asked if he could join them for the holidays, so that is what we did. We invited him over. I guess he just doesn't really have any family nearby or anything to join with him. So, yeah, but we are, of course, going to have Dear Dad. Oh, it looks like he is doing a brain-boosting routine. He's trying to de-stress. Maria reached gourmet cooking level three. Ooh. Very cool. She is just making a bunch of stuff. Fruit and yogurt parfait. Gemma's calling. Um, he can talk to her for a bit because we are going to invite her over. She's going to make pancakes. Mike Maria is just wanting to bake today, man. And okay, so let's see. Our kids are sleeping. Oh my gosh. He's going to get taken away. He is so hungry. Um, Daryl, I need you to come in here and give food to Vance so we don't lose him like seriously please take care of this child okay so while daryl does that i need him after that to come over here to cook a grand meal and mm, i think we'll just do a ham dinner my family for christmas usually we would always do like a big breakfast over at my grandparents house when i was a kid and then at dinner we would usually do like a big ham or something like that oh, and ham is delicious but it kills my stomach now I can't have pork like the older I've gotten the less I can have things and it just sucks it really does so okay Maria like you just baking up a storm but I wanted to show you guys we have special outfits for the family the fam bam and I <laughs> I straight had fun with this because I never use these. And so I wanted Maria to be festive for Winterfest today. So, ba bam! Look at her with her little snowman earrings. She's so cute, girl. Why are you crying? It's okay. Okay, and Daryl here, he's going to finish making his grand meal. There's an emergency. I need to go. That's cool. Whatever. Um, we are going to have him change into his outfit as well. <laughs> And Daryl, even though he is, doesn't really care, honestly, at all about Winterfest, he just wants to be with his family. And see, look how festive Daryl is. This boy is just, he's on another level today. On another level. We're going to wake up our little boy here so that he will come and eat. And Daryl, look at him just baking. Oh. <laughs> okay, do you baste a ham? I don't know. It's <laughs> I've never actually like cooked a ham myself. Maria is enjoying her pancakes. We are going to call Gemma to come on over. Where is dear Gemma? <gasps> Gemma, there she is. So let's invite her to come and hang out. And is there anyone else that we need? Oh, Marcus Flex is getting so old. So many people are getting so old. Like. Uh, Gemma's coming right over, so we will invite her, and I feel like Diego's eyes be looking crazy in that picture, but I feel like there was somebody else I was thinking of that I was wondering if they would want to spend time with us or not, but I don't see them, so I don't know who I was thinking of, honestly, but regardless, I was thinking of them. Oh, there she is. There is Gemma. She's like, Maria, your outfit is fantastic. I love that so much. Come and eat your yogurt, little man. Come on. Hurry before you get taken away from me. 
Oh my gosh, what is like taking him so long? Okay, Daryl's getting him. Whew, okay. All right. So, Maria, oh gosh, I'm glad we got to talk today. It was Jasmine Deer, I guess. But we need Maria to come and do her super efficient baby care. But Gemma is in the way. Okay, let's try this again. Ugh, I swear, some of this just takes such a long time. Oh, Daryl's at level 9. I didn't even realize he was that far along. That's great. Okay, well, so it looks like he has finished eating, so he's in a pretty good mood. This little guy needs a bath, but he is still sleeping, so we'll let him sleep a bit longer. Okay, so Maria, she loves all of these parts of Winterfest. She wants to decorate, so we are going to rummage for decorations. Oh, there it was. Sing together. Okay, okay. Let's see, Maria, you got some ornaments. Okay, very cute. Yes, yes, okay, Christmas lights. Oh, it looks like little Vance is loving watching his mom get the decorations ready. Oh, cool, we got some cards and some more candles. Definitely put those somewhere. And I want you guys to see, <laughs> I want you to see the outfit that I picked for the kids. So let me get over here. Come here, Vance. You're just like walking away from me. Okay, let's do this change outfit. <laughs> He's going to be a Christmas tree because why not? I mean, this family is going to go all out this year. They're done having kids. They're having all three of them here at home for Christmas. And this is a time that they want to remember. So, you know, this is just what we're going to do. Okay, so I am going to just move these items real quick so that we've got them out of the way. Let's see, we could put the Christmas cards over here as a display, sure. Add some more candles somewhere. Sure, that's cute. Put it over there. Put another set over here. We're just literally simple. Keep it simple and get rid of all these Nasty dishes everywhere. Okay, look at him walking around as a tree. Oh, that kills me. That kills me so much. Okay, and I need Daryl to come in here to um, give this boy a bath because he is getting a little bit stinky, and then we can get him into his little sweater thing. Okay, so... That as well, Gemma is still here. Daryl is working on the wood block, of course. Typical Daryl. Let's get back to Maria. Okay, so she wants to, of course, have a grand meal and she wants to share in the Winterfest spirit. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna talk to Gemma and share with her how excited we are to have the whole family together. She's just like, I can't believe this. She's gonna become best friends. I don't remember who we're best friends with. It might be Daryl, but you know, that's fine. Whatever. Um, oh, my notification wall is full. And so let's empty that out. But we need to give her, well, we could do a Winterfest gift, but I want to share in the Winterfest spirit. I know we're not complaining about it because Maria loves it. Ugh. Where are the options? Sing, share Winterfest spirit. There we go. Okay, so it's, hey, Maria, it's Clara. Do you want to hang out tonight? Uh, she's always wanting to go to the club, and she's an elder. Like, this girl, she goes hard, even in her old age. It's cool. But no, girl, it's Winterfest. We're going to spend time with the family. Okay, so going to get that done. Okay, let's see. Is this little guy getting his bath yet? Has he? No, he hasn't. He's dancing. Daryl, go and give your son a bath. He needs it so much. And Maria, just just stop. you got to let Daryl take care of this boy. Uh, they're making it so much more complicated than it needs to be. And Father Winter, yeah, Father Winter is his name. I guess he will be around sometime later. Winter appears at 8 p.m. near fireplaces. So we still have time. Look at the way he looks when he sits down in this chair, or not the chair on the floor. Look at his eyes. 
<laughs> the way they cut over is just so cute. Oh my goodness. How? How, Maria, did you have such little cuties? I mean, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's get these kids clean and washed up because you need to see the other little outfit. Oh, Gemma's leaving before we get to actually have a grand meal, which is sad, but you know, it's okay. Okay, so now let's change this guy into his outfit. So change outfit and da 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 da. He is a little elf. There he is, our little elf. Okay, guys. So let's come in here and have the family eat their big meal. Daryl is going to be in charge of it. So he is going to... Wait, let's have them all sing together. Um, Fwiggle zibs? I don't know. That's what we're going to do. So let's see. Can, is, can he not do that? Oh, he can only sing with Maria. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll have Maria and him sing together. They're going to come sing a Christmas carol. Here he comes, stomping around with his big old reindeer shirt. Okay, guys, let's listen. Man, boy, you got a deep voice. He's, like, getting into that. That's really funny. Okay, anyways. So, sabotage food. No, we're not doing that. We're going to call everybody to the grand meal. And then Medea, they just be singing away, man. Okay. He's like, everybody, come and get the food. Your daddy has made a delicious ham dinner. Look. <laughs> He's walking so spastically and fast. They both are. Something must be up with my game, or there's just a new glitch going on since the update. But they got some quick feet, man. Or them outfits are real restricting. <laughs> Medea is like, look at my little Christmas tree. She loves it. She loves it. Look at his little feet. There he goes. Would like to come over and hang out. Girl, you were just over here. Of course you can come over and hang out. Silly girl. Okay, girl, come and get your plate. Come call to the grand meal. Make sure everybody gets a plate. Okay, there we go. Sitting by the fireplace, eating the ham. <gasps> Ah, just so delicious. So cute. I love this. Her little Christmas tree coming over here. Kills me. Kills me every time. He's just like, Mom, I love you. All right, guys. So it is going to be 8 o'clock here in a second. So it looks like Father Winter might be showing up. Oh, looks like our little boy has some pancakes. Oh, look at them by the fire. Oh, look, guys. Father Winter is here. <gasps> He has already arrived, and he's adding some more gifts. We are going to have sweet, our sweet little Vance ask him for a gift. Look at him just marching around the living room, giving out things. So cute. Okay, come on. Come on. Come and ask Father Winter. He's like, yo, Daddy Winter, I would like to get a present. Please. Bless me with one. He don't want no weights. He's too little for weights now, Father Winter. Come on. Come on. Did he get a did he get a gift? Father Winter, ask him for a present. Ask him for a present. Come on. There we go. He's like, "Can I please? Can I please?" So I guess he can't really get a present or something, which is really sad but um okay we need to get this little one out so that he can try to ask for a present and daryl is going to um, add presents to the pile for the kids and let's have him come back over here come on let's fight father winter for presents. I've never seen that one. Of course, that would be something that Daryl could do. And girl, like, why does everybody want to fight him for presents? No, we don't want to fight. Why do we have to fight? 
I guess Maria can introduce herself. Maybe if we try to do that first. Look at little Victor. He is terrified of Father Winter. He does not like him. Daryl is trying to, like, save him. He's like, it's okay, son. Like, don't worry about it. Like, I'll take you away from the big scary man. Which, guys, I will confess, when I was a child, I definitely de became good friends. I just met you. Like, okay. <laughs> that escalated so quickly. Um, can we... I want to ask you for a dang present. Give me a gift. Complain about Winterfest. No. Share Winterfest spirit. Sing about Winterfest. Um, ask for a present. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's have her ask for the present. She's like, hey, we became good friends, so you should give me something nice. So, let's see. Let's see. Is it something good? It better be something good. What is it? Seems like she likes it. One fossilized egg. Okay. Oh, why are you thinking about stuff like that? What kind of a thing is this? A ja jamtastic gift. Maria remembers fondly of receiving a gift from Clement. She was in canned. <laughs> okay. Never seen that sentiment before. Okay. So now I need Daryl to come over here and introduce himself to Father Winter as well. And get that done. And then we should, I think, be able to ask for a gift after that. Because that seemed to be what really actually, like, worked. Give a Winterfest gift. But we want to ask for a present. So let's do that. So, okay, it looks like Gemma is leaving. And Daryl is getting a gift. Let's see if it's good. Have you been good or naughty, Daryl? Let's see. Oh, he did not like it. He's like, you jerk. There's literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's open some presents. So we'll open presents with, can we select all of them? Yes. Let's open presents with our family. <gasps> the family. Oh, there was like a, the, a chime. A chime sounded. And I think I hear the baby crying. But no, put your little outfit back on, boy. Like, we are not done. Change your outfit into this. Okay. I want everybody to be dressed and ready for this occasion. All right. Let's see. Can we get them all to open? <gasps> oh, look at them. The first little like Christmas together oh this is adorable oh and look at the way like Daryl is smiling at his son he's like oh life is so good this family is so cute I love this oh okay I need to Figure out my camera controls here. Okay. Wow, where am I? Okay. Okay, I'm not very good at this. Okay, let's start over here. <gasps> oh, that's cute. The little tree. And where is our little... <gasps> there he is. There's little Victor. They are so cute. They're so excited. All oh, their little ecstatic faces. They're like, yes, yes, we've been waiting for this all day. All day, mom and dad. All dang day. <laughs> I love these outfits. They're so cute. Okay, sorry. I am no, I'm just trying to take tons of pictures. But, you know, I just... I just want to set the, the mood and the vibe. Let's see. What did he get? Oh, I didn't see what it was. Vance got one Penguin Vision children's television set. He will treasure it. Aww. So he did get a present. So he is excited about that. Aww. Let's see. Maria, who would give a one lump of coal as a gift? Maria isn't particularly happy about this gift. 
poor thing. Let's open a present. Daryl, one Blooming Beauty wall painting. He will treasure it. So, okay. He had a great present. Maria had a pretty sucky one, unfortunately for her. And let's see, what did our little boy get? One Mr. Floppy the Gnome. He will treasure. So everyone had great gifts except for poor Maria. Let's have her open another. Oh, can she not open another one? Your sim performed this action recently. Oh, poor thing. She just got a sucky gift for being a mom. But hey, the greatest gift, honestly, was her just getting to be with her children for the holidays. So, whew, it is a late night. They have had a busy day, honestly. And... This house is a mess. Look at all these stinky plates. I need Daryl to just be a housewife here for a second and just clean all of this up. And oh no, our little roast got all, or our ham got all dirty. Everything is dirty. No, we didn't even like eat half of that stuff. I should have put it away earlier and I just totally spaced it. Ugh, that was so bad of me. So bad. And look at little Vance in here just playing like the little elf that he is with his blocks. Oh, he is so cute. Or sorry, not Vance, Victor. Oh my gosh, see, I'm already doing it. I am already doing it. He's so cute, look at those little shoes. Oh my gosh, oh, killing me. You're killing my heart, little one, killing it. Okay, well, he needs his fun to go up. But he also needs to sleep. We're just going to send him to sleep because it's so late. Little Vance has already gone to bed. How is the baby? Oh, no. Our baby is, like, not good. <laughs> we need to do some super efficient baby care very quickly. I don't know why I clicked the calendar. Okay. And we just need to get this house taken care of and back in order. I also did want to... Wait, Daryl, don't go to bed yet. I want to see you do a holiday cracker. I just want to see, is there anything in it? I don't know. I've never done one of these. Oh, that's fun and festive. Oh, a sweet surprise. Daryl popped open the holiday cracker to discover a piece of candy inside. He can't quite put his finger on the flavor, though. Winterfest was successful. Very good, and it was pretty good for the kids. So excellent. So he's feeling playful. And Maria, girl, I need you to wake up and come and do this last holiday cracker so it doesn't go to waste. Come on. Woohoo! All right. Oh, she got something too. A sweet surprise. All right, she got a little piece of candy. Great. All right, so I'm going to have her just take a relaxing bubble bath. And then we're going to have her go on to sleep. So, guys, Winterfest was quite the success for both Maria and Daryl. And the kids got some presents that they really enjoyed. So, uh, sad that the festivities are all over and we'll have to take all our decorations down. But we do also still have things coming up to celebrate. Like, of course, Vance's birthday. Our first actual toddler is going to become a child and it's going to be wonderful wonderful so i can stop worrying about them not being able to feed themselves and whatnot so anyways tater tots i'm going to end this episode here so thank you so much for joining me for this winter fest festivity and fun and i am really excited to see where these kids are gonna go what they're gonna do and uh, i feel like there's so much still open and available to us and i totally forgot that there's this weird random corner <laughs> I haven't done anything with it. I just have a door there. But um, yeah, anyways, thank you once again, Tater Tots, and I will see you next time.